Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. Today, I'm going to be clipping up my last few goats to get ready for the Mitten Madness Dairy Goat Show that is being put on here in Michigan on August 6th at the Eaton County Fairgrounds, which is kind of near the Lansing area. And uh, I'm excited to just get back to the show ring after having to skip the last one and just having lots of things going on around the farm. This show is even more exciting for me because my husband Trent and our daughter Ellie are coming as well. Trent's going to drive up uh, Saturday morning for the show and I'm going Friday night with the goats and just getting unpacked and everything and you know, hanging out with goat friends and doing all of that. And then uh, the next day will be the show day. It's a three ring show. Unfortunately, Trent won't be able to stay for the whole show. Uh, he'll head home in the afternoon with Elle. It's about, I think an hour and a half, two hour drive for us. So that way he can get her home and he'll have a couple of does at home actually that he's milking for me that I'm just not bringing. Uh, I currently have five does in milk and I'm only going to be showing two of them. Um, Wendy, who is my oldest doe, she does not have great attachments while she is otherwise a really beautiful doe. And she only had a single doeling this year, Lovey, who she had on Valentine's Day. Uh, Lovey cannot be shown currently because we're still waiting on the DNA results to verify her sire. It's either... Templeton or Detour. So Lovey's not registered, so she can't be shown. So I'm not super motivated to bring Wendy just because I know with, you know, Wendy's utter this year having a single doling uh, in the general poor attachments that she just wouldn't be competitive right now. And then Ely is a doe I have on lease and her doling mouse is going to a new home in a couple of days actually. And uh, her name is gonna be Grace. Um, we went ahead and changed the registered name at their request, but she's going to be gone this week. So Ely, I don't have Ely's paper. She's on lease and, um, she's just a chubby, uh, two-year-old doe. And so, yeah, she won't be coming though. She does have a beautiful udder and she's milking really nicely. So she'll be home. And then Idy, who is one of my favorite does in the barn, who is definitely, um, over height, she won't be shown for that reason. So I'm not gonna bring ID and I've had, if you see my last video on the show that I went to, um, the first show of 2022, I brought four senior kids with me all in the same class. And I explained in that video, I won't get into it now why I did that, but this show, I'm actually only bringing two senior kids and I picked out my two favorites. So Sidar, who is, an ID daughter, and then Birdie, who is a Sunny daughter. So they're both in the same class. And actually Vera, who is one of Haggis's two dolings, uh, she's going to her new home at the show. Her owner will be there. Really excited to finally get to meet that family. And we've, you know, definitely been in touch in the last few months. And I think she's gonna be a wonderful home for Vera. And uh, she's gonna be helping me to handle Sidar while I show Birdie, seeing as again, they're both the same age in the same class. So I'll have the two senior kids and then I bring Sai, my dry yearling, my sunny daughter from last year, and then I'll have Sunny and Haggis. And those are the only four animals that I'm bringing to show, oh, five animals that I'm bringing to show. So, um, so I've got to clip up Haggis's feet still. I clipped her a couple of weeks ago and I, she's a black doe and she just needed longer to uh, grow her hair back out and I had time to clip her then. So she's finally looking nice. She's had like two and, I'll have to go back and see, two and a half or three weeks of hair growth. And so I just need to trim up her feet really nice and just check her over, trim up her ears probably. And then Sunny, I'm gonna clip her whole body with a 7F blade, which is a little bit longer than a 10 blade, just cause again, the show is this weekend. It's uh, Tuesday right now. And so I'm gonna just clip her with a 7F blade and then clip like feet and legs with a 10. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to Sai, Sunny's doe kid uh, from last year. So let's get to it. Show you real quick my setup. Um, I am, obviously I've got this door open here. There's the house, my trailer dough barn 
over there and I have all the does locked out in the pasture and the, the kids for the day. Um, and so this is my milking area and um, I'm just set up here to clip where I'm in the shade. Um, you know, still got it more light than if I was over there. Jenks is helping me. Hey, Jenks. Jenks. So here's my setup, everything I've got. I've got my, um, my clippers and my blades, my brushes for my blades for cleaning them as I go. Got some treats here if I need them. Uh, the blade coolant, blade ice, and the blade oil. And then I always am going to be doing, uh, you know, hooves, checking hooves when I'm trimming, especially before show. So I've got my hoof rasp here as well as my protective gloves. And I swear I have my trimmers over over here. Hoof trimmers. Really liking these ones from Premier One. They are definitely worth the investment. Uh, extra blades here and blood sap powder if I ever needed it for a hoof. And that's all that I have uh, that I need in order to start clipping goats. Okay, so I don't know if you'll actually be able to see the progress or not. So I did just go ahead as you probably saw, I trimmed her tail with the 10 and I went with the hair instead of against it like you typically would if you were doing a true uh, 10 blade, like a full show cut. Um, so I just went with it to shorten that hair a little bit cause it was kind of long, trimmed up the tail. And so I just did this leg first and I see I missed like this spot if you can see that, but I just trim around the feet, the toes, again, I trim her hoof. But what I did is I just trimmed her feet and like her pasterns with um, a 10 blade and just slightly up here. And then I tried to, and I'm not very good at blending, you know, it takes a lot of time of experience. Um, I tried to just, oh, quit that haggis. Don't be ridiculous to blend the 10 blade then by going with the hair here and then I went against here because that makes it shorter and when you go with the hair then it's uh, slightly less long than what it was but it's not as short as this to try and blend it down just because I don't want to make her bald again. I like this level of hair on her. And now some of you might look at her and think that she looks uh, maybe like a little thin. And uh, same thing as with like dairy cows. Um, these are dairy goats and she comes from some very, very dairy high production genetics on both sides of the pedigree. She is a yearling, meaning she was born last year. So she still has a ton of maturing to do. And Haggis is a very dairy doe. And so she has that build of being like a bit on the thinner side because she is milking. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more condition on her, but she's, you know, she's holding her weight. She's not like skin and bones. I mean, you can see her ribs a little bit, but you can see that she's got like a healthy shine here to her coat. And she, um, you know, she eats. She just, um, you know, she milks too. So once she's a little bit older and a bit farther into her lactation, she might fill out a bit more. I've considered, I know that hair is, oh, you got a fly on you. Um, it's so once she gets a bit further into her lactation, you know, that could change. I definitely am keeping an eye on her weight. And if for any reason she seems like she is not going to put it back on, you know, a bit further in lactation. I will supplement her a little bit, but she's eating good and I'm not worried about her. She's just that type of dough. See, those flies are bugging you, Haggy. So anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do on all four legs and I just wanted to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and then uh, I'll see how it looks overall. She might be really hard to see too because of the lighting and the fact, you know, she's a black dough. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Haggis had a little wound here. She it looks like she had got caught on a fence or something and that's been healing nicely. I did, um, some different topicals on it, but the skin's all nice and healed up now. So that's good. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll do her face as well. Like she's got, I think you can see here, like a little, oh, haggis, a little bit of a goatee growing back in. So I'll trim that up and try to trim like the junction of the uh, throat as it goes into the neck here. And uh, check her ears, you know, I need to make sure she's tattooed. I don't even know if she is tattooed. Sometimes Stacy forgets. Oh, Haggis, I hope, oh yeah, you are. Okay, she's tattooed. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I won't trim the udder until like the day before or the day of show. So, it's a little mad. So here's Sunny, and uh, she's gonna get the 7F blade all over, like I said, with the 10 on the face and uh, feet and legs. And we'll see how it goes. Sunny is a two year old doe. She's a second freshener. She kitted or freshened January 18th. So at this point, she's uh not milking for much she's getting over a little um udder issue and she's still got her two doe kids birdie and bunny nursing on her so they've been helping me with that and using some uh high po high potency vitamin c and vitamin b complex and some different herbs kelp and b vitamins and uh, some homeopathics just to clear that up hot compresses all that jazz so she's feeling better i don't know 100 percent um for sure yet if i will be showing her or scratch her or maybe i will uh just not fill her udder all the way just because i already paid my entry fees are non-refundable just to um get her in the ring and get her that ring experience uh sunny has always placed top three in her class every time that she's been shown even though she acts like a complete meanie and has to be dragged usually to get her to go anywhere or tries to bite me or headbutt me but uh she's a sweet doe and she's very pretty doe structurally you know she's got maturing to do again she's only two but she's a very deep doe really beautiful soft dairy skin on her uh beautiful front end assembly she has crossed well with both of the different bucks so far that i've used on her and i'm actually bringing her to a different buck this year so I'm really excited to see those kids. Okay, so I think it's a pretty dramatic difference. You can see just going from that, uh, you know, the, the hair as it is to the 7F blade. And it just makes them look, again, like they've got a little bit more hair growth instead of going all the way down to the skin which if it was earlier in the year, if I had more shows to go to, I would do a 10 blade, but it's August in Michigan and it gets cold here. So I don't want to just uh, clip her all the way to the skin. So yeah, so I still have to do this whole side and um, you know, the feet and legs, I still got a lot of work. So I'm going to turn the camera off for now. You guys get the gist of it and I'll turn it back on when she's uh, finishing up. Have any uh, words, Sunny? Anything you want to say to your adoring fans? She's just like, uh, peanuts, treats, cookies. What do you got for me? I'm, I'm like, Don't you bite me, little goat. Those were some teeth, young lady. All right, so I've got Sunny's body pretty much clipped and did most of her head. She was pretty good about that, but she is in a mood to bite me. Sunny, you being, <laughs> she's like, I'm licking you, but I'll also take a chunk out of you. So yeah, she's looking good. Uh, again, I'll come back with the other, you know, uh, 
day before or day of show. Let me see, I missed a little spot right there. Trim up, so I'm gonna take out the 10 blades now and work on her feet and legs. <laughs> And I'm just checking here. That hair looks a little long right there. Touch up. Um, but overall, she looks good. And then try to blend those feet and legs in. Oh, good. Patch of belly hair. <laughs> belly hair is kind of hard sometimes. So I got some belly hair to clip up real quick. But uh, otherwise, her neck overall looks pretty good. She's going to have a couple spots here I'll have to hit when I get her off the stand, but uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Sunny mostly clipped up. So Sunny's finished and she's gonna go back to the pen. Other than I just wasn't gonna finish up her neck once I get her out of the stand here. But body is clipped, feet and legs are all clipped and she's looking pretty good. Last but not least, here is Sai. This is my Sunny daughter from last year her sire is my buck templeton and Sai is a dry yearling she was a mayborn kid so it was just a, a case of she was not large enough to breed she did get one uh breeding when it was like finally she was big enough and i just gave her the one opportunity and she didn't settle which can be common with first timers and so yeah so she's going to be bred this fall for likely January or February kids. But anyways, um, something you'll see about Sai here that's pretty crazy and very noticeable is this mark right here. Two days ago, she actually got um, in a brush with death. She got tangled up in our electric net fencing when it was turned off. Never had that happen before. Uh, my husband moved the fence and he thinks it was just like there was grass that she wanted on the other side and she wasn't even yelling or anything. So luckily he found her, but she was completely tangled up in the, the net fencing and um, would likely have died had he not found her. So, yeah, so she she has this mark here. The hair is all pushed up. We'll see what it looks like underneath once I clip. The skin didn't seem to be broken, but, um, yeah, that's why she's got that crazy ridge on her back. She is obviously having a fight with the stand right now, and I'm just going to let her fight it out. She definitely needs a hoof trim. So I'm gonna do that and uh, get her clipped the same way I clipped Sunny, her mom, with the seven F blade and then the 10 on the feet and legs. You think, Sai Sai, you ready? You look like you're gonna give me a run for my money. Oh, okay, that was fun. So uh, just check her neck when she gets out of the stand. But I think I got everywhere. Uh, she really popped me on the ears. Sai can be a sweet goat, but you start clipping her feet, clipping her rump, clipping her legs, her head, her ears, she turns into a, a demon. Isn't that right, Sai Sai? <laughs> She's fired up. She's so mad. But you're done! You look pretty. Oh, that's what the mark looks like. Again, there's no breakage in the skin. I mean, she's super lucky. We're lucky. It was a scary thing to happen, but I'm glad, you know, that will heal. And, um, yeah, I got her feet trimmed, got her all trimmed up. She's looking her best. And uh, she's ready for the show this weekend. So, hooray for being done. I am covered in hair. As you can see, I need a shower. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel good at all. I got to get all this hair cleaned up. Get the stand moved and uh, just kind of pick my stuff up and then I'll go ahead and uh, shower and then start on chores. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was valuable to some of you in just um, seeing what this kind of a clip would look like. I appreciate all of you taking the time to watch my videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And if you're not already subscribed, if you wanna learn more about dairy goats or Nigerian dwarfs in particular, in showing goats and milk testing and breeding goats and holistic management of goats, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.